Cat owners have many names for an adorable phenomenon none of us quite understand. For the sake of conversation, we'll call it loafing. It's when a cat tucks in his or her paws and looks exactly like a loaf of bread. While it's damn near impossible to understand what's going on with cats 99% of the time, there's actually a reasonable explanation for this. It's also like the cutest thing in the world. You're most likely to spot a cat loaf in his or her favorite spot. Whether it's a lap, a pile of clothes, or actual furniture, experts say it's probably not a coincidence that your cat loafs in these particular places. Generally, a cat lying with its paws tucked underneath it is considered relaxed. Their claws are tucked away because they don't sense an imminent threat. Granted, those claws have been used exclusively for tearing your mail or destroying your couch, but a cat that's sitting on its best defense system is probably a happy little camper. It also means they don't sense an immediate threat to run from, unless it's 3 a.m. when it seems like all they want to do is run. Run. And run. In a studio apartment. I'm very tired. Sitting like a loaf may also have some heat preserving benefits. Cat's thermoneutral zone, the temperature range which they're not expending any energy to cool off or get warm, is between 85 and 100 degrees, so tucking themselves in might help retain heat. It seems that a cat's transformation into a furry tugboat is multifaceted, but since we can never truly understand why a cat does what it does, it's important to monitor their behavior and try to pick up on some cues they might be sending you. A cat that's constantly curling up on its paws might be in pain or have an injury. But whether you call it loafing, tugboating, retracto paws, meat breading, hover catting, kitty cumulus, the triple tuck, or hairballing, make sure to keep taking photos for the internet. Because the world is scary right now, and these little weirdos are awesome. <laughs>